Now we're going to go ahead and start working on the ignition system on the Massey Ferguson 135. We got a new set of points, a condenser, and a new rotor. We went with standard Blue Streak because it is a high quality product. Here are the part numbers for all the parts we got. DR314, DR90, DR2240. Okay, the first thing you do is remove the distributor cap. Remove the rotor. Remove the little dust cap. And there is your points and condenser. This particular condenser doesn't have a bolt to hold it in. It just slides into a bracket, so it's fairly easy to remove. Take that off like that. Unbolt the points. One bolt holds the points in. Well, remove the points. Take the points all the way off like this. Then. On both the condenser and the This tractor is equipped with a Delco distributor, which is GM. So we ordered the parts for a 66 Chevrolet pickup with a six cylinder. Here's a comparison of the new rotor and the old rotor. The blue one is the new one. Here's the condenser, which is not much to look at. You can see everything about the standard points is heavier duty than the ones that were in the tractor. It has all copper conductors. Copper is a great conductor of electricity. Then it has a little piece of felt here that you put a couple drops of oil on so you don't have to put oil on your distributor cam. And here are the standard points versus the points that were in the tractor. You can see the standard points have all copper conductors. Copper is a great conductor of electricity. Then it has a little piece of felt that you put some grease on. Okay, now we'll put the new points in, and we'll start off with, uh, we'll just hook up the wires to the Hook those wires up right there. And now the next thing I'll do is try to slide my condenser in. Again, it doesn't have a bolt that holds it in this particular distributor. Just got a bracket. Wants to be a little contrary. There we go. Right. Next thing we do is put the points in, put a bolt in it. The tool he is using is called a screw starter. It works like that. Put your screw in it. Flip this and it holds your screw. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to adjust our point gap. And we'll have to crank the engine over until we get the cam on the high part where it opens the points. The tractor's in neutral with the brakes locked. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh, now we're ready to set the gap on the points. The way that's done, I've already brought the distributor around where the high point on the cam, the points are sitting on the high point of the cam, and you adjust the points by using a screwdriver here, use a feeler gauge in here. I always, before I use the feeler gauge, I always use a paper towel with some brake clean, wipe the feeler gauge off to be certain there's no oil residue on there to get into your points. If that happens, you may have a problem that the points won't spark. So here's how it's done. Okay, that looks like it's about right. Just tighten the screw down to lock it. Check it once more to make sure nothing moved. And that should be it. Okay, we'll put a drop of oil on our felt. Uh, so that will keep our distributor cam lubricated so it doesn't wear the points out. And then we'll put our dust cover on. Next, the rotor button. And now our distributor cap. Now we're ready to see if it'll start. We pushed the tractor outside after installing the points. So this will be the first start up. It starts right up but it has carburetor problems. You have to keep the choke pulled out to keep the tractor running. So in the next video we're going to be addressing the carburetor issues.